Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire Nice Outdoors and we've got something super special today. I have no idea what's in this box, LOL. It has no writing on it. It has no arrows going up or down. It's got a lot of tape all over it. It says made in China. And it's got a battery. I'm 100% sure it's a uh, an e-bike. It is extremely heavy. So um, which is rare. I'm do unboxing videos and adventure videos. So I get these bikes all the time, but if you don't have a writing on it, I have no idea what it is. So I poked my head in it and it is the, um, walkie e-bike. That's the H six, um, which is a foldable bike for $14.99. And it's got a 20 or set 48 volt, 40 amp hour battery so that's insane that this is the largest bike i've ever reviewed we'll be taking this one in the woods as well but this is not a all-terrain bike let's get into it and we'll talk about it they did also send me um i haven't even opened this up yet let me grab my fire nice knife there it is there got fire nice shameless pug plug all right, let's open this thing up. Oh my gosh, something just fell. Typically what you would probably want to do is keep the box. I wouldn't open it up this way. Um, oh, it's upside down. Whoops. There's no arrows, guys. We've got to do better with the packaging because that is crazy. This is how it was given to me. Um, I didn't turn it upside down or nothing. That's the brakes. Um, Okay, but for um, purposes to show you guys what this looks like when you get it, um, this is backwards. I'm just gonna let it fall. Packaging's not terrible. It's pretty standard. Um, it's kind of damaged. I'm not a, yeah, it's not bad. This is neat. It has like a two-seater idea to this. Um, that's a monster battery and it's got two of them. Um, but yeah, it's got a, a two seater. Where do you put your feet? It's dual suspension, but we're going to swap this out for the basket. Cause I don't, I'm not, I'm not planning on, uh, taking somebody with me and riding on the back of this thing. But, uh, let's see, come on down here. So far, just the box needs to have a little bit more um, information on it because it was given to me uh, upside down. Um, the, typically, these foldable bikes are um, almost like 90% put together because they're pretty much folded inside it. Um, there's other companies that the foldable ones are 100% put together. Oh, this is pretty. I like that. This is the seat. The seats usually fold up so you can pull the battery out. And I've got a battery inside there. Let's see here. Come on. Dual suspension. Shouldn't take too, too long to put together. Is this all? You know, it'd be neat if they'd have the quick disconnects on these bikes for the tire. They're already pretty foldable, but uh, having the quick disconnect on the bikes would be crazy. All right, let's see here. Lift up, pull it out, boom. Can you see me over there? This is pretty. All right, let's grab this. This should be pretty simple. And, all right. So, lift this up, pull this over. Will that fit like that? There we go. Boom. All right, we'll figure all this stuff out later. All righty, let's back this up. And um, you know what, let's clean up. I always believe in cleaning up. The shop, let's see here. Boom. All right. Did that come out of there? It must have. All right, boom. And boom. Grab it some tape real quick. So it'll stay. Grab my knife. Here we go. And let's bring this over. The kickstand. Boom. What's that for? All right. 
let's open up some of this stuff and see what's inside of it. Where's my pocket knife? Hopefully you have a pocket knife or some knife of some kind. All right, so these are nice. Um, um, you, they'll fold up into each other. That's really cool. I like that. Looks kind of rugged. Um, I threw in a uh, Allen wrench set and uh, 15 and 13. So we'll see what that looks like. So come on over here, let's look. There we go. Oh, that's broken. I'm so glad I have extra ones. Alrighty, boom. So let's get this tire on here. They gave us a 15 and, or 30. I'm sorry, 15 millimeter or a 13 millimeter. Will this come off? Not yet. Does this come out the bottom? And there. Did not want this to come off. This is gonna fall. Jeez. All right. So stay. Alrighty. Let's get this bad boy on him. We got 20 inch rams. This looks like it's gonna be difficult. All right. All right, brakes are on. Come on. You're clear on this side, right? That's clear. This has got a long way to go. What a pain in the butt this is. No. All right, so I'm clear here. Come on, just take it all the way off. How is this so difficult now? Oh, come on. All right, so there is that. What in the world? Why is this so freaking hard? It doesn't need to be. All right, there. All right, I just, I called it. This is, it's got a spacer in the middle that moves around and it's got like 14 washers on both sides, which is crazy. Come on. Let's tighten these bad boys down. There we go. Now let's just double check. All right, that's good. All right. So it's got a, an Allen nut watcher. And I think that goes to that. It's a pretty bike. I tire so suck i want to tell you something cool about this bike it has an app that uh it comes with it and um it's got uh find my bike like find my iphone find my you know, android or whatever um and um he um it'll track where you're going i think all of that's cool there's no way this they don't give you a, a washer for that or a, um, a wrench for that this should be a 10 millimeter did they give you one? No. All right. So it didn't come with a 10 millimeter. That's a nine and 11. There's a 10. So make sure you have a 10 millimeter. But yeah, the app is actually really cool. Um, on top of the, um, it has a really large battery. Really great app. Once you get it all put together. Let's see here. Is that a 10? It is. Not, I got an eight right there too. It's a 10. And if you have better tools than what they give you, please use them. These are not the greatest tools. All right, lock this in. That's, the headlight is super cool. All right, so put that there. And it doesn't come plugged in. We gotta plug it in. You just match the arrows up. There's an arrow. Um, or you could just stick it and just spin it until it clicks. And push that in. Get that, make that look good. All righty. So, I wonder how you charge. So you have to charge them separate. We've got all battery inside here and then that one there. All right, let's get the seat on. There we go. Let's take a look at this seat. So it has this little lever right here that um, you pull up and then you'll be able to get your battery out. Um, this battery here. Let's open this up. So I need to tighten this up a little bit. Righty tighty. Lefty Lucy might be too tight. No, it's not too bad. Alrighty, let's get the, these foot pedals on. I want to show you something that's really cool about these. So they're, they do have the L and the R on them, but I think you can, yeah, push those in. Um, and then how do you pull them out? There you go. So just push in and I guess just keeps it getting flat and then uh pull them out so heads up there and this is riders left and right so 
right is over here. And then typically, it'll be righty tighty and then lefty tighty over there. Let's see if this is a 15. It is a 15. All right, make sure you got those things tight. Because when you're in the woods, it sucks when these come off. All righty. So we need to put that front fender on. All right, let's get this bad boy put together. So this is plastic. Um, and this is bent. Let's see. So when you're putting this on, make sure you have the mud flap flipping up toward, towards the back. The short part of the, um, the fender will always go up front. Don't put it this way uh, where it's longer on here. Just a heads up. And I tightened all that up before I put the fender on. Oh man. Before I put the, um, I put the light on. Oh well, but I can still fix it. All right, still have everything right here. I'll get a 10 millimeter on the back and I will tighten with all this stuff. This is always a little tricky because everything goes into this one screw. That's just pretty crazy. But, <coughs> yeah, really cool color. Dual suspension, doesn't have a lot of travel on the shocks. So I don't think this is like a mountain bike type situation. Let's see here. Let's see, let's see, boom. All right, everything is put back together. All right, we can tighten this up because it'll wiggle some make a room. It's only one uh, screw, so it, it will, the fender will wiggle back and forth. We have to tighten up the other sides. We'll tighten this down here. Yeah, I can't wait to get this in the woods. See how far to go. I have done other bikes that have claimed to be like 36 and I did not get anywhere near you think because I get on these other bikes they're 20 20 uh power and I can get 55 miles on it and um on uh uh oh is there screws on the other side there is oh crap <laughs> wonder what size this is it's got a missing screw on the uh fender does anything come they don't give you any extra screws I've got this other I've got these spare screws from another situation. I wonder if this will work. This is a great bike, but the packaging is definitely is like a, a C. Very no writing on the box up or down, which is going to hurt them in the long run. I might have it. So it's missing a screw, but I think I've got one here. Um, and it's got blue Loctite on it, which is nice. But um, yeah. And when I get this in the woods, I can really give you a full assessment of it. But come on. I don't like how they've done this. It's just a weird, has that got it? It's just a weird angle. You didn't have to do it this way. Come on, bite. There we go. All right, I got it. I just don't like how you have to screw it in. Do I have some better Allens than this? I've got to have some better Allens than this. Let's see. If you're gonna make it difficult to get, um, to screw stuff in, give them some um, uh, ball Allens. That'll make it easier. Like this, ball Allens, perfect. These are better. And these came out of another bike. But, uh, come on. So that is good. But uh, give them some ball Allens. This is a, definitely a pain. Come on. It's getting in there. Blue Loctite. Alrighty. So there's one and then I'll have to use that needs to come up a little bit to use a different Allen for this one there we go there's no blue lock tight if you do get um, your own bike invest in a little bit of blue lock tight they make these um, like little tiny squeeze bottles and it's just a kind of like a, a thing where you it will keep the the bolt from ever coming out and still can be taken out now they have this stuff called red lock tight that is for stuff like for engines that are you do not ever want to come off um, and I would not suggest that on almost anything here I wouldn't put red Loctite on because you might need to change some things but I'm going to loosen this up because it is funky let's see here oh, it's been in like 20 minutes on front fender I just need to lift this up a little bit because it's it looks super funky all right let this go up let's put it about right there and then lock it down 
it's not playing well. Come on. All right, so there. I wonder, let's stick this up underneath it. Will that fit up underneath it? I'm just trying to shove up a bunch of stuff underneath it. Because I have to have my hands free. Oh, let's see here. A bottle of water? Ugh, come on, stay. It's freaking weird. Where is everything? Is that what fits it? It does. And then a 10 millimeter. These can be aggravating. No matter what bike you, you do. This one has been worse so far. There we go. All right. And that is done. Got plenty of clearance. Just weird. That wiggles. All right, let's drop this down. Lock this up. Boom. Oof. I do like the post. It's got this grid on it that, um, um, I do like this post. It's got this grid on it. So once you lock it, it doesn't go down. But um, let's get this off of there. Um, it's got cable brakes, which is not my favorite. Let's look at this real quick. This is the best charger I have ever seen. It is a four amp input, five amp output with a fan. This is insane. This is what I've been asking for the last two years is faster charging. Because when you plug this in, dude, this right here will charge. This could charge this whole thing within five, six hours, which is two batteries, which normally would be like eight hours. Um, but here, I'm going to take this around here. Let's look at this. Um, uh, all right. Let's get this thing turned on. I hate that it has cable brakes. That sucks. Um, it didn't come charged. Sometimes you have to put the key in it. Let me grab for it to work. Let me grab my scissors out of this little thing. All right, let's see. Usually there'll be a key underneath it. Let's see here. Is that the key? There it is. Can't see that. That, that key. So that's where you charge it. Here it is. There we go. Is that on? Yeah, it's on. And it's on. That's down. Ali, that's heavy. It's a huge battery though. There we go. There we go. All right, can you see that? This is pretty. So this has actually been ridden. So come here, we'll look at it together. So there we go. It already comes American. Usually sometimes that'll have uh, not miles per hour. It'll be something different. It's just simple. Headlights are freaking perfect. It dims this, which is nice. And then we can do pedal assist one, two, three, four, and five. Um, and it's throttle, there it is. And um, it's a seven speed. Brakes need to be adjusted. They need to be a little bit low. Huh, all right. This bike is at me. So I like this bike. Um, it's really built for my type of riding. Um, it's a 40 amp hour battery, which is crazy. Um, and it has a powerful charger, which is insane. Um, it's foldable. Um, the packaging um, is poor and it's not very good packaging. Uh, I would, I mean, it's $14.99. I would imagine somebody would pay $15.99 just to make sure that the, it was boxed a little bit better. This bike, I, I can't wait for it to get this in the woods. This is going to be a really neat bike. Very long distance bike, which is really cool. I won't have to worry about it. It isn't a all, um, a single track or a mountain bike. Uh, I will break this bike if I take it out in the woods. Um, uh, in certain situations that I've done in the past, that just would destroy this bike. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great looking bike. Um, let's see, let me turn that off. That shuts that off, right? Is that off? Yeah. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for a long distance, long distance foldable bike, I don't think there's a better one out here. Um, now, stay tuned because we're gonna get this in the woods and find out what, uh, what it can do. But uh, yeah, Walkie H6 Max. Appreciate you uh, sponsoring the video. I hope you like this. And 
If you enjoyed these type of videos, thumbs up it, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.